Well, a huge breakthrough in the prosthetics industry. The new implantable myoelectric sensor is bridging the gap between the brain and prosthetic limbs, allowing brand new flexibility. Dr. Paul Pasquinup is the principal FDA investigator, ensuring the proper development and safety of this new prosthetics system. He joins us now from D.C. to discuss what well, really is a revolutionary product, isn't it, Doctor? Uh, prior to this, those people that were using prosthetics, what was the biggest hindrance for them? Well, you know, over the last decade, we've unfortunately had to take care of too many injured service members with missing limbs. And we knew the technology had advanced, but uh, certainly wanted to invest in new technology to help advance that even further. The current prostheses, particularly for upper limb loss, use sensors that are placed on the surface of the skin, so can only get at muscles that are close to the skin and become dysfunctional when uh, an, an individual in an amputation goes up and does things that causes some sweating. And so this new technology allows sensors to be implanted into deeper muscles to allow multiple simultaneous control of a prosthetic limb. At what stage are you in the research on this and what have the results been so far? So needless to say, a lot of uh, engineering has gone behind this. We've been partnering with the Alfred Mann Foundation, uh, and their engineers and our clinical team are ensuring all safety. So we're under an FDA investigational uh, uh, study and uh, conducting that study right now at the Uniform Services University and at Walter Reed National Military Medical Center. Uh, we have uh, um, uh, the approval to study three subjects. We've completed our first subject and are six months out and very encouraged with these early results. And that was uh, U.S. Marine Staff Sergeant James Sides. I've been reading uh, some of his comments on this uh, new device. And he said, you know, he was frustrated because he wasn't able with traditional prosthetic limb to do simple things like pick up a, a bottle of water or get money out of an ATM. And he felt that if he was going out of a grocery store, he was struggling because of the line behind him. And he felt that pressure. He says that has changed dramatically with this new device. That's correct. I mean, uh, Sergeant Size is just an incredible individual who has showed unbelievable resilience after losing one of his eyes and one of his upper limbs defending this country. And we are very proud that this technology is helping him uh, to live a more uh, higher quality of life and be able to do things that uh, he was unable to do with the uh, uh, current technology. So your next study is going to be when, and, and obviously we see the arm being uh, used with these implanted sensors, but can you use them for legs as well? You know, that's, that's exactly right. So we have our second uh, individual that's signed up. We're uh, looking for a surgical date to place these uh, uh, electrodes. Uh, and we believe that this technology can help all individuals with limb loss, both upper and lower limb. It's amazing. So how soon could it be before this is available to the general public, to veterans and those others that could use it? Well, that's, that's exactly right. We want this technology to help all individuals, uh, not just our injured service members, but all folks in the United States and abroad. Uh, and we hope that, you know, going through uh, these studies uh, with FDA clearance, uh, that this technology will avail be available soon uh, for all these individuals that could greatly benefit from it. Well, we wish you continued success with a terrific program. And, of course, we'll check back in to get uh, the latest. Dr. Paul Pasquina, thank you so much for joining us. No, thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Well, tomorrow we are going to talk.